Well, howdy. Um, heavy, heavy armor bushcraft. Welcome back. Um, I, I, I had not looked at this this closely, um, honestly, up until just this exact moment. Um, this is the, uh, well, I think it used to be a root cellar, but I'm still, I'm not 100% convinced of that now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had not looked at this, this closely up until right now. And, uh, whew, boy, it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a whole pile of work. Um, I don't, I can't tell if they had at some point had it built up. It kind of doesn't look like it, but at the same note, it, it kind of does. Um, I'm not really sure what they had going on here. Um, it has a window. There's no glass, of course, but it has a window. Um, it even appears to have maybe partially been insulated at one point. Um, there's some block back in there and a lot of dirt. I can only assume that this must go down deeper and they put fill or something in here i'm i'm not 100 percent sure i found my e-tool because if you watched the last video i wasn't sure where it was but uh what the bear's looking at oh well, there's the window sill i haven't seen any snakes or anything yet so there's that, I guess. I can tell if that's... I think that used to be wood right there, whatever I'm shoveling at. I don't... I'm going to be honest with you. I don't... I don't know what the hell's going on here. <laughs> I can't see back in there very far because the roof has collapsed down. So... I guess we're kind of going to have to make an assessment and uh, see what we can do. I'm going to have to do some clearing. There's some, some uh, briars and thorns that I want to get out of the way. This little maple here is going to have to go away. Um, that's a grapevine right there. Huh. Interesting. That sucker's got to be 150 years old. And, you know, this could have been chicken coop, rabbit coop, something like that. Who the hell knows? Um, but uh, I guess we're going to have to do an assessment here and kind of figure out where we land. Because there's metal here, and there's metal that angles down there. Let me, let me see if I can grab this and show you so you can get a better look at what I'm seeing here. Because it's... Uh, a little out there so that's kind of what i'm saying if you look under here i don't know how well i can get that angle there's more metal this is like secondary roof this is the primary so there used to be a window right there and that looked like it was a doorway so my initial assessment of this um being some variety of root cellar well that may be completely wrong i'm not sure what the hell i got here <laughs> um but uh i don't think it changes anything really because it's still a good location i think um for what i'm wanting to do uh kind of recessed back into the bank a little bit there's nothing crazy going on here my only other option would be to start a completely new one in this region over here like perhaps in there um which might actually work fairly well if i take some of the dead trees out move things around a little bit and then use all of this kind of as the uh as the front yard so to speak i guess oh 
Now I really got to level things up. <laughs> yeah. So that's a possibility as well. I mean, I've got these guys here, which I don't know if you can even see what my foot's on right there. That is a hundred year old grapevine. They just, there's a few of them scattered here that just run off through any damn where. Um, yeah. So that might be, hmm. That might be the better option, to be honest with you. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like random, looks like liquor bottles, 40 ounce bottles of malt liquor. Um, there's a lot of that down here. There's no mower deck up there. So, hmm. Yeah. <coughs> there is, uh, well, see, the problem you have in some of these really rural areas is, uh, and it's not, I call it a problem. It's just, it's the thing that happens is, uh, when, uh, years and years ago before the, you know, the modern conveniences of, you know, recycling centers and whatnot and everything that we're used to in modern civilization, you know, people would just take the trash and just throw it, pitch it, you know, cause if, if they couldn't reuse it, well, then they'd just take it and toss it. You know, they didn't need it anymore. They'd already reused it. So you get things like, you know, I got spare tire here, like an old junk tire here, some piece of metal pipe there, you know, the busted jars, that mower deck that's over there. I can see all sorts of glass bottles and whatnot over there. You know, so there is that. There's a piece of pipe sticking straight out at me right there. So there's that. Hmm. Hmm. I think... I don't have any Widowmakers right here to worry about. No, I got no Widowmakers right here to worry about. Nothing's going to fall down on my head. This is a secure location. And it's got a nice slope to it, so I wouldn't have to do a, a huge pile of digging or a huge pile of wall building either. Um, wonderful thing about this area, though, is most of the ground, most of the dirt, like underneath the top layer, is... Uh, Pretty much clay. Uh, so add some water and, you know, straw or whatnot, and you, you've got good building material, you know. Um, so, huh. My plans may have changed slightly because um, I don't, huh. I don't know that I can resurrect whatever that used to be. Uh, huh. <laughs> hmm. At least not in a timely manner and by myself. But let us let us go with that. Um, now I know the timely manner thing doesn't really matter because I'm only. But I don't also don't want to record you know four hours of video at a shot, and I don't want to also edit four hours or six hours of video down into a thirty minute video frame for everybody either because, whew, that's a lot of work too. But uh, hmm, I may get a buddy over. I have a buddy that's kind of interested in working on this with me. Um, I may have to get him over here. And the two of us will take a look at it and see what we can do. Because if I can't do it with that, I've got I've got some dead treeage out here. Um, I'll get the axe out and we'll fell some trees and build a wooden shelter here. It's about deep enough for you know a long term shelter and uh, clear some stuff out and see what we can do. Like. Mm. That that's not very sturdy, but yeah. Hmm. Well, this really leads me to wonder what the hell that used to be. I, I'm just going to go out there and say it. This is one of those things. If this were a, a survival situation, I suppose though, you know, you would stumble across that in the woods, and you would think your initial assessment is going to be, "Wow, that's great! I can make something out of that." And yes, I could probably make something about big enough to sleep in out of that. But if I'm looking for like a long-term shelter, that's not going to be the answer. So maybe I'll get the roof broke down off of it. I don't know. Huh. I'll go from there. But I think that's a project for another day because I'm sick as a dog, if you can't tell in the, the voice regions. And I don't really feel like putting that much effort out today. Um, but I wanted to come out here and do something on it, touch base on it anyways. 
and uh huh huh yeah kind of is what it is i guess <laughs> Well, it's 10 minutes of video and I haven't really done anything or really said nothing new. So let me, uh, let me stop this video, I guess. I'm going to, I'll do a time lapse, tear that roof off of there right quick, I guess. And we'll see what we can do with it and see what it looks like once I get the roof off, what's further back under there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, hang tight. I'll be, uh, I'll be back in a few. Well, I have no idea what that used to be. I, I don't believe that it used to be a root cellar. Um, if it was, it was built up quite a bit, but I'm not sure how. Um, there appears to be some blocking, um, possibly, but it's all disintegrated. It, there's nothing left of it to tell. Um, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I'm at a loss. I, I don't know. I'm a little confused, but uh, it's no deeper than 18 inches, um, and I, I I find it impossible to believe that anybody completely filled that in, you know, just for no reason. So it's a bit odd. It's a bit odd, but uh, well, we uh, we we disturbed a little friend um, who will not be leaving that area, um, which is why. I brought you old 20 gauge with me. Um, and there is a, another critter hole at the back side of it. it. It could be an armadillo hole or something like that. It's not real big. It's not a snake hole, that's for sure. But, uh, hmm. yeah. I am not sure what the hell that used to be. But I am certain that it is not going to make the survival shelter that I thought it was going to make. So, hmm. change of plans. Just, you know, we're going we're gonna to make a little change of plans, adapt and overcome, adjust and whatnot. And uh, the upper portion of that where I was showing you there, we'll, we'll build a survival shelter there. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just uh, go from there with it. And maybe over time we'll work into that one and see what we can find with it. But uh, that's, uh, I don't know what the hell it was. If it was a root cellar, it was strangely built and completely filled in with dirt. So... I don't know. I'm confused. But we have a new plan. We have a new direction. So we are going to basically do the same thing. We're going to use the location as a good spot because it is still a good a good location. Um, it's well hidden from any kind of surrounding like roads or traffic or major areas. It's got very little overhead clearance, you know, like overhead line of sight because air traffic and whatnot. But it's got a great line of sight coming out the front of it down into a little bottom where I know that there's game, there's game trails, there's deer, there's turkeys, you know. So, yeah, we're going to treat it as a best case scenario out of the worst case scenario, I suppose. <laughs> yep. But uh, I think I've talked enough for now, and uh, I'm going to reassess. I'm going to make some new plans. I got, a, I got an idea what I want to do, I think. And, uh, yeah, we'll put a, put a kit together, and we'll get out there probably Wednesday and start working on it. And uh, until then, wish me luck. We'll see you in the bush.